What's going on ladies and gentlemen? All right, today I actually got some uh, some spare time. I want to take the this 12 inch DeWalt sliding compound miter came with the stand got it last year like I said I have used it once this thing's brand new but it's huge okay it's a very nice saw but what I decided to do where is it can I help you can I help you pal what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 10 inch my rigid a lot smaller easier to handle and I'm gonna mount it on that table on the stand and we're gonna put that stand back in the trailer I'm gonna take that big saw and I'm gonna put it in uh, my basement I got storage in my basement and I'm thinking about I'll either I'll probably keep it in case I get a big job that's needed if I got to cut you know some big lumber if not I might put it on I might get rid of it and sell it I don't know I'm not sure but that's my plans for today and I got to organize this thing out I got a lot of junk a lot of extra bags and stuff I don't use I got another that's my first one that's a Delta Many years old I did my first job at a condo I lived in it was Wayne Scotting and I used to call it Wayne's coating and shit I didn't even know I don't even know if I got the name right now but anyways I had a guy come out and give me a price he wanted I don't know 1500 at the time I went out and bought my own saw. I bought the wood, and that's when I started just trying things on my own a long time ago. But anyways, we're gonna organize this. I got some free time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm doing today. Cold out today. Got the heater on. Leave this thing running. Oh, this right here. I'm sure you've seen it. Home Depot, $10 bunch of allen wrenches cuz that's really nice nice little set got all your different sizes here okay it was 10 bucks it was the last one so I snatched that up see what this uh, stand looks like with the uh, rigid on it tell you what that saw is pretty heavy um, I took it off it's right there I'm gonna put that in the basement and this is it with the rigid tell you what a lot easier to manage doesn't look bad at all this thing's got a piston to help you lift it which this saw is pretty light to begin with but it's a nice table just had to adjust some of the brackets here this is actually believe it or not from one from that bolt to this side is a little bit wider than this big guy right here but definitely it's a lot easier for me to do it this way and what I'm going to do now is, because I haven't done it in a while, I'm going to vacuum out this trailer. Holy crap. I got some spare wood there. I'm going to put behind where I store my sheetrock and plywood. Get it out of the aisle here, and then I'm going to start tackling some of that stuff. All right, that'll be it. Let me turn on the tunes. Put up back against the wall. I put a... It's strapped up against the wall. You know, with uh, those uh, wall anchors, and I just throw a moving blank, and I got I keep this in the trailer. I just throw it on top here, just to keep it clean. So if I'm doing anything on the table here, paint or whatever, it just keeps it clean. And uh, all right, let me get to it. I got a lot of stuff just jammed everywhere, cause what's going on here? I put the heater on. All right, I'm getting close cleaned out the uh the walkway here this is because i left it you know jammed in the corner it's kind of got a little crooked it's a little uh cement pan you know for uh you gotta mix a little cement on the job it's a little uh it's a little tough plastic they're cheap all right so it's hanging up just like that it's out of the way it gives me some room here it is. I'm opening up a lot of space. All right, not bad. Got to put these things away. I'm going to put them in a bucket. I got some more. Another thing, if you got those Home Depot buckets like down there on the right-hand corner, I got two or three more in another spot. 
I'm going to just throw some of the trowels and stuff in there and put them right against the back door. The ramp, all right? That's pretty much it. I got to still bring the saw down. You can see there's a hole. There's a hole right there. And <laughs> funny story is when I got that doing that Wayne's Wayne Scotting or whatever the hell they call it. I also wanted to try to do uh, crown molding and I didn't really know about crown molding. So that mark, that hole, it, it's actually from a hammer because I cut so many pieces wrong. I, you know, I lost my temper and I just smashed it up a little bit, but yeah, that's it. That's where the hole came from. So if you are working and you're doing things for the first time and you got a little bit of a temper, yeah, you know, try to relax because what happens is you end up breaking your own stuff. All right, I got a lot of stuff here. I got the chainsaw. I think I'll put the chainsaw maybe in the back corner to the right. I don't know. If you're thinking about getting a trailer, this is a 6x12. Um, it's a Vino's. It's pretty much, I got it jammed up. It's not one of those, uh, it's not one of those where it's fancy drawers and everything else. I just got everything jammed in here. But I got everything I need, you know. So, it does get jammed up quick. If you're thinking about getting a trailer, maybe get one a little bit bigger than this. Because I filled this up like this within a year. And, uh, again, I'm going to put that other saw in the basement. The shop saw. So, if I need it, it's right there. I'll put it and I'll just have to grab it and throw it back on the truck or the trailer. Alright, that's it for now. I'm going to vacuum just a little bit more. And this stuff in here, you can see, I haven't really organized a lot of it, but it's up here neat for now. It's not going to fall. That's my main concern, is anything falling off when I'm driving. Um, power washer there. You know, since it's winter, maybe I put the power washer down in the basement, clear up some space, you know. Alright, we'll talk to you soon. This is it, just organizing the trailer a little bit. Man, there's more stuff in here than I thought. And we'll catch up with you uh, on the next one. And if you're wondering where Sonny is, I had to put him inside. Because uh, when I carry these saws out to the basement, if he gets out to the main part of the property, forget it. He'll, he'll beeline it out into a main road or something, and I can't take that chance right now. You know, he gets, he's silly. When he sees uh, trucks and cars, he gets a little silly. All right, we'll catch you on the next one then. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. If you're into these trailer builds and tool trailers, um, I'll be posting some stuff every once in a while. All right, take care. Have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Yo, Sonny! Ho, oh, ho, ho! Silly. Yeah, I see you behind a tree, kid. All right, come on.